What up, what up, what up? Back again, back at you with another joint. Today, I'm getting into Looper, man. I think I did a video a long time ago, um, a long time ago, and I don't remember if the title had nothing to do with Looper, man, or nothing like that, but I know I did something with Looper, man. It was a while ago. I got this uh, folder right here, Looper, man. It's been a minute since I even uh, went on here, but if it's come to my uh, awareness that a lot of these joints that we hear on he, we're hearing on um, terrestrial radio or any of your streaming networks, a lot of a lot of the samples are coming from Looperman. Um, so. I said, let me let me go over there and see what they got. See if I find something new. Um, I found these three right here. So what I'm gonna do is uh I thought about using Serato sample, but I might not use Serato sample um for the whole joint. What I'm gonna do is because I wanna I wanna know what the tempo is. Quickest way to do that. I mean I could drag the tempo. I I could drag the tempo up and down in Serato sample, but I'm not going to actually do that. So it's in the key of E minor. And it's 77. So 77 times. Ooh. I'm going to see. I'm, I'm more than likely I'm not going to keep it in Serato sample, but I'm going to just check something real quick. All right, boom. So I got that. I'm not sure where I'm going with it yet. I'm just vibing. Catch a little vibe. See what it do. Right now, I'm going to mess with some drums and, and, and get even more of a vibe because we vibing.
Boom, so I got the drums rocking. Now I'm gonna look for an 808 real quick. Hold up. I bet, so I got this 808. And for work to work, don't work, don't work. We're gonna see what to do though. Let go. Yo, it's not recording the first joint. I don't know why, y'all. Alright, boom. So we got the 808 knocking. It's moving with it a little bit. A little bit. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the drums into the arrange window and get the arranging. Alright, hold up. Alright, boom. So we got the drums in the arrange window. Um, Hold on. I thought I saved this. I'm here pressing command save. I'm doing the wrong fizzing. Um, so. so I got them um, all in the arranged window, real simple, nothing crazy, um, but I'm going to see what I could do with it.
All right, so I, I got that little light mix going on. What I'm about to do, I'm about to route these drums. Um, drum bus. Let's go to the bypass. Just goes to the band. Where we at? Hold up. I don't got a band bus. If anybody from uh, Studio One is paying attention to my videos, which I doubt, um, when we used to be able to highlight multiple channels in the mixer window and go to the color and color it, right now it doesn't do that. You got to go back and color it. Um, So what I'm about to do is do a little quick minor arrangement. Nothing crazy, man. I'll probably just keep this beat super simple. Boom. Hold up. All right, so it's four bars. These two is going to be the hook. Now, one, two, three. And...
super simple. Super, super simple. Um, I want to do more, but I know this thing is going to start buffering. So before I start the buffering, um, I'm going to just close out. You know what I'm saying? I got the idea going. And it's not good the way it is right now. Like, I'd rap to it. You know what I mean? Um, light mix, nothing crazy. Um, but this is what we got. I mean, super simple. I mean, I slap a limiter on there. You know what I mean? Do some looperator, some some crazy things. Um, I might add some additional uh, instruments. I just don't know exactly what. Like this is a piano kind of loop. I might go back to um go back in that Looperman um folder and look for like guitars or something if I want to do that or open up a VST of my choice and play along with it. But um. Yeah, man. I want to keep you out here for too long today. This is super simple. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Do remember music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace. Love, light. Till next time. Peace. Peace.